This is Daniel Cook at a winter festival. Hi, I'm here with Kenny, and today he's going to show me around the winter festival. Welcome to Elmira. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. This is Elmira Maple Syrup Festival. It's the 41st year we've had it. Look at all the people around here. There's lots of things to do and lots of things to see. How about going around and uh, taking a little tour with me? Let's start with a fun store. We need to have some, ma some maple water fudge. Do you like that? I want chocolate. Oh, so you, he wants chocolate. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. Have a good day, you guys. We'll see you next year. This is good fudge. Yeah? What kind of things are there to do at a winter festival? Well, at this one we have Pancakes, that's the number one thing for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And we have log sawing, and we have the taffy pulling. It's sort of like a farmer's market outside. Oh, yeah. Can we make pancakes later? Well, let me see what I can do. Is that the log cutting? Yeah, right over here. Want to try that? This is another old-fashioned tradition. That's one of the really important things about this festival. We do a lot of things in an old-fashioned way. Can I try doing that? Well, I don't know. Let's go talk to them and see if they'll let us try it. Okay. I've never done it before either. Make sure it's nice and straight. Now, you pull back. <laughs> Thank you. Cotton candy, yum. You like that, eh? Mm -hmm. Good. Candy apples, yum, too. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a treat for everybody here. One of the really important things about the Elmira Maple Syrup Festival is that Every year, it's about 2,100 volunteers that help to put it on. Wow. That's oh, right. Wow. That's a lot of people. It takes a lot of organizing. So someday you can come back and help us if you like. Mm -hmm. I'd like to do that. Good. I have another treat for you right now because we're going to go and watch some old-fashioned toffee making. Yay! All right. We're going to put syrup in uh, our big pot here. We're going to further reduce it, make more of the water evaporate, and make it thicker. We're going to go over the snow, okay? We're gonna put it in the snow. We lay down a little bit like that, cools it down. We'll take a popsicle stick, and what we're doing is we're just gonna <laughs> pick the candy out of the snow. And then what we've done is we've made maple syrup toffee in the snow. What's your favorite part about the winter festival? The pancakes. Can you make some pancakes now? Well, why don't we wander over there and see if they'll let us do that. Okay. This is Daniel Cook making pancakes. Okay, so you can take the ladle. Really sticky. Up. Pour it on nice and thick. Perfect. Oh, we have to watch. Do you know what, what you have to look for when you're cooking your pancakes? The bubbles. The bubbles. bubbles. Exactly. So once those bubbles get really big, do you want to flip it? Right here. Yeah, let's check it. We're just going to loosen it up here. Okay, ready? Can you flip it? Perfect! How many pancakes do you think you've made today? Mm, I'm guessing over 8,000. 8,000? That's a lot of pancakes. A lot of pancakes. Can I can you pancake too? Would you like to? Not a problem. We're going to put it right there. Big one! A big one! Can I sign you up for next year? You can probably pay me pancakes. Oh, I could do that. Lots of syrup, too. Let's see if this guy's ready for eating. Oh, you can flip it and we'll put that little piece right there. One, two, three, go. 
How does your pancake taste? Good. Excellent. And you cooked it yourself? Mm-hmm. Nice job. This is really good. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny, for showing me around the Winter Festival. It was a lot of fun. You're welcome. No problem at all. Cheers. Let's finish the rest of our pancakes before we leave. Okay. Cheers. This episode is over, but the very best of my collection is banned on YouTube. To see what you have been missing, go to archive.org and search for Gyro Screw Loose, and I'll see you there.